Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to this webinar. My name is Tomas Arenas, and I serve as the Vice President of Global Marketing at Atacama Bionatural Products. We are a company based in Chile, and we culture Hematococcus pluvialis to produce assassin products for human and animal wellness. I am pleased to be presenting this webinar called Increased Quality and Production, Enhanced Health and Color with Red Meal. First, this will be the outline of the presentation. We will start by understanding what asset sanding is and its unique characteristics. Then we will dive into the latest findings about its effect in animal health. Next, we will introduce Red Meal, a tailored solution by Atacama Bayo to deliver asasantin health benefits for animals. As the center part of this webinar, we will present the results obtained by our customers with Red Meal in the shrimp and hen industry. As a closure, we will detail the value proposition of Red Meal and how its use will mean better yields and profit, as well as our commitment as your business partner. Without further ado, let's begin talking about Asasant. So what is Asasant? Asasant is a carotenoid, the family of yellow, orange, and red organic pigments. Like many carotenoids, Asasant is a lipid soluble pigment. Asasantin is produced naturally only by the freshwater microalgae Hematococcus pluvialis. As a response to stress conditions, this microalgae turns into a cyst, where DNA and cell structures are preserving oil rich in asasantin. It is said that it can survive up to 40 years in this state until the correct environmental conditions are restored. Asasantin is what gives color to flamingos, crustaceans, and salmons. The wild flamingos in the picture are eating microcrustaceans and microalgae that are naturally occurring in these lagoons in the middle of the Atacama Desert in Chile. We humans and animals do not produce asasantin, and asasantin has always been in the natural food chain. Here you can see how asasantin is transferred from its source, Hematococcus pluvialis, that can accumulate up to 50,000 ppm of asasantin to other animals in the natural food chain. Other sources for us humans or animals have significantly less concentration of it. Just take salmon and you will only find 5 ppm or krill 120 ppm. Shrimp can have up to 1200 ppm of acid. This will be one of the mo two most important slides of this presentation and it is related to the properties of the acid molecule. Its extended chain of conjugated double bonds, it's what makes it an unsurpassable antioxidant. The many available electrons can combat a huge amount of other of free radicals. The acid molecule, molecule can take different geometrical arrangements. It is called a chiral molecule. Something is chiral if you can distinguish it from its mirror image. Think about your hands and the reflections in the mirror. On each side of the molecule, there is an asymmetric carbon marked in blue attached to OH groups, which can be projected either below the plane or above the plane. Then there will be three configurations for acid called enantiomers. Now let's take a look at the image on the right, which is a representation of how chiral molecules interact with chiral receptors inside the organism. Most substances relevant to biology are chiral. I'm talking about carbohydrates, amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins, and nucleic acids. We humans and animals that consume a chiral compound, such as astaxanthin, usually will be able to metabolize only one of its enantiomers. For the same reason, different enantiomers usually have vastly different potencies or effects, just as the left hand interacts differently with a left or a right hand glove. This will be the second most important slide related to the unique characteristics of assassin. There's a fascinating property which makes assassin the ultimate protector against free radicals and explains why its consumption generates so many health benefits over the body. And it is its unique cell membrane protection. Its polar ends and hydrophobic body allows it to permeate and span the cellular membrane as can be seen in the picture. 
protecting the cell from outer and inner oxidative activity. Other compounds will say either inside or outside. You can see representations of uh, beta carotene, vitamin C, and vitamin E that do not share this characteristic. Beta carotene will only stay inside the membrane because it's water soluble. Vitamin C cannot even get inside the membrane. And vitamin E will quote unquote hang from one side but not span the whole membrane and thus not being able to protect uh, from outside and inside at the same time. Knowing that astaxanthin is a wonderful antioxidant, uh, unique in, in its category, it must be noted that not, not all sources of astaxanthin are equal. In this table, we summarize the differences between natural astaxanthin from Hematococcus pluvialis against the one derived from uh, GMO yeast fafia and synthetic astaxanthin, which is made out of, out of petrochemicals. First and foremost, chirality is different. Remember that different enantiomers will have vastly different potencies or effects, and one should not discard potential harmful effects of molecules that are alien to the natural food chain. Second, astaxanthin from microalgae comes naturally with a set of supporting carotenoids, which are beneficial by themselves. Other sources do not have this. Then we have esterification, which means that a molecule can, can come with fatty acids attached to its ends. An esterified molecule, such as astaxanthin, is more stable and will reach its destination with minimum degradation. Free molecules are less stable and more prone to degradation. Finally, the antioxidant effect, which is measured uh, by two tests, the singlet oxygen quenching test and the free radical scavenging test, show a significant, um, um, a higher effect uh, for uh, astaxanthin from uh, Hematococcus pluvialis. Um, it can be up to 20 times stronger in, stronger in the free radical elimination test and 50 times stronger in the singlet oxygen quenching test as compared to the synthetic source. All that said, how much is microalgae uh, from astaxanthin? I mean, astaxanthin from microalgae used in the feed industry as for today? Well, almost nothing. There had not been an industrial scale producer and supplier of hematococcus astaxanthin that could offer a cost effective product. In consequence, astaxanthin supplementation has been historically dominated by the synthetic version of the carotenoid, which can achieve pigmentation but uh, there's no compelling evidence related to any health benefits. We noted this as an opportunity, and we decided to bridge this gap and make microalgal astaxanthin a real alternative for animal nutrition. This brought us to study the topic in deep. Uh, in the following slides, I will summarize what science says about the effects of natural astaxanthin as an animal feed. In recent years, a wide range of benefits of Hematococcus pluvialis astaxanthin has been demonstrated. Across species, the effects that are reported are an increase of reproduction rate, growth rate, survival rate, better immunity, better stress tolerance, and considerably better pigmentation for some specific species. This evidence is very compelling. And it was this scientific support that led us to create red meal a whole microalgae meal, rich in astaxanthin, that is starting to disrupt the market. I will uh, now touch on the specific effects that have been reported for different uh, animals. For aquaculture, uh, particularly for shrimp and fish, uh, an, an increased antioxidant capacity activity in the, in the body has been reported, as well as uh, stress alleviation, better reproduction and blood quality, and disease resistance. In farm animals, uh, better egg quality, an increase of uh, laying hens productivity, and an extension of its productive time span, an overall health improvement, and better meat acceptance by final consumers because of its appearance. Even for pets, supplementing of uh, natural assassin can help with treatments for arthritis, allergies, cancer prevention and, ther and therapy, and as well as uh, um, treatment of cough, cognitive dysfunction. It can help mitigate inflammatory processes, 
and heightens humoral and cell mediated immune responses. And then we come uh, to a, a special category uh, with some species that can take advantage of natural assessing and its characteristics to get a considerably better pigmentation. I'm talking like about uh, crustaceans like the white tailed shrimp, um, fish like sea bream, yellow tail, and rainbow trout, some ornamental uh, fish, and egg yolks. We have selected an article by uh, Mr. Martin Waring, who is an expert in aqua nutrition uh, with more than 25 years of experience on feed formulation and production, as well as with feed additives. Uh, the article titled is Hematococcus assassantin. Is it time to rethink assassantin use in white shrimp feeds? The um, article was published in the Aquaculture Age Pacific uh, magazine in 2019. The first takeaway is that natural pigmentation is better. And it reads, in both shrimp and red sea bream and related species, algal assassantin has demonstrated superior biological and pigmentation properties versus the synthetic pigment. So one relevant point that is addressed is the performance of both sources uh, for pigmentation, which would be the baseline for comparison. In this aspect, the article reads, Vaname shrimp fed levels as low as 25 ppm Hematococcus assassantin improved significantly the pigmentation, which was superior to shrimp fed 150 ppm of synthetic assassantin, suggesting that Hematococcus assassantin was at least six folds more efficient. In the picture here, you can clearly see that synthetic assassantin diets after 150 ppm, the one here on the left, do not achieve even the first level of pigmentation with natural assassantin with only 25 ppm. Apart from comparing uh, pigmentation capabilities, the article also dives into the differences in health benefits. Natural assassantin is shown to have a superior anti-stress and disease resistance properties. Um, he cites uh, two other articles where a higher survival in modern shrimp, better resistance to low salinity stress are, are reported. Also another interesting finding is, is related to improve uh, um, deposition uh, in shrimp of assassantin, as you can see in the, in, in the chart here. On average, doubling the deposition when using synth synthetic. Some remarkable conclusions uh, of these articles are the following. While the Vanamai shrimp largely dominates the world uh, shrimp farming production, the industry does not use synthetic, synthetic assassantin due to its reported poor efficiency. An increased supply of uh, hematococcus assassantin at more competitive prices could see the situation change dr drastically. The use of uh, hematococcus assassantin could, could help seek better prices because of its superior biological efficacy health benefits, as well as improved marketability of um, as a, um, natural fed shrimp. Now, after all this compelling evidence backing the health uh, benefits of fast hunting in animals, let me introduce you to Red Meal, Atagama Bio natural uh, product solution to incorporate natural assessing in animal nutrition. Well, Red Meal is a whole microalgae meal that contains all the natural elements of the, the Hematococcus pluvialis biofactory. It has, of course, assassantin and supporting carotenoids. It has energy in the form of fat, proteins, carbohydrates, essential fatty acids, 10 vitamins, 18 amino acids, nine, nine of them essential, nucleotides, and minerals. Now, we have two versatile presentations that allows you to incorporate red, red meal in your feed while offering uh, a stable shelf, shelf life of 48 months. We have a red meal powder at a concentration of 1.5 uh, total carotenoid uh, um, concentration, which is a micro, micro encapsulated um, ruptured hematococcus pluvialis cysts. And we also have red meal oil also at 1.5 uh, total carotenoids concentration, 
which are ruptured uh, hematocrus pluvial cysts in a vegetal, vegetable oil medium. In this section, I will present some results reported by our customers that are currently using red meal in, in their processes. The first experience is with a uh, banana uh, shrimp, white leg shrimp. Some key points on the global market uh, are the following. Farm and wild caught shrimp are valued, uh, the, mar the global market are, is valued at about $40 billion. And out of it, an outstanding 35% accounts for white leg shrimp. The profit drivers here are survival, stress and resist uh, resistance, and of course, color. We will share some empirical results of industrial scale uh, experiences in, in Thailand and in India. Our customers have been using red meal in their production line and all the effects here are not exactly quantitative, but uh, more from an expert eye appreciation. So first, um, the brute stock stage of Vaname shrimp. In this picture, you can see a very dark shrimp. The carapace color denotes acesanthin absorption. This is due to the high affinity between the natural acesanthin and antimer and it's the tissue proteins, specifically crustacyanin. Then, wounds related to clashing when transported or transferred are minimized and easily healed thanks to an active immune system. There is a reported overall improved health um, due to the, uh, the antioxidant, antioxidant effect, effect of acesanthin and its protection at a cellular level. They also report active mating and improved egg quality and quantity. Now in the larvae and post-larvae stage, they report uh, vigorous activity, uh, noticeable lipids in a large dark hepatopancreas, uh, as you can see here in the picture on the right. The hepatopancreas can, can be seen here, a sign of, uh, of being, the animal being healthy, and excellent reataxis. Well, all of this, as I said, are signs of uh, healthy animals, which is an effect of the supplementation. Then at the nursery stage, um, there are some several there are some several stressors uh, like the environmental changes, so um, and exposure to disease. Asasantin improve the stress resistance and survival rate in this stage, up to ninety percent at PL thirty seven. Finally, uh, commercial shrimp can achieve 27 or over in the color fan after cooked. And this is explained again by the affinity of natural acesanthin and antimer. And this is an improvement that will mean better selling prices. A red meal is versatile to prepare feed for aquaculture. It can be used as a premix or make it as an ad use it as an additive in finished meal for pellets as a rotifer enrichment or in self-prepared meals with egg custard or, or fish. Now, uh, the second experience we want to share with you is with the free range laying hands. There's an important trend in gl the global egg market that is moving actually away from cages altogether. It is said that, uh, that uh, it, it, the global market it's trending to be uh, free of, of, of cages. And starting 2027, the um, poultry in, in cages will be banned in the Re European Union. And in Asia, this is pre predicted to, ha to happen by 2025. And here, the profit drivers are survival, laying rate, productive life, and yolk color. Uh, the results we want to share here are what a local expert in Chile did um, to, he wanted to test red meal for yolk pigmentation. He wanted to go at least, uh, to reach at least uh, color 12 in the DSM fan for yolks, which is the local free range standard. Um, 100 highline, highline um, hens were used with a free range regimen and the experiment was run for a 36 day period. Uh, the baseline was the use of cantosantin, which is, was synthetic. And, and, the, um, and the person here wanted to move away from synthetic products. And also he could not achieve any result better than 12 
and the color fan. Okay, so three tests were performed. Um, red meal oil mixed uh, in the feed at three and six ppm. Then red meal powder in the drinking water lines at 4.5 ppms. And finally, red meal powder in the feed again at six and eight ppms, but with used oil, and then eight ppms with virgin oil. And these were the results. Uh, first test, test A, red meal oil mixed in the, uh, directly with feed. After 36 days, um, with uh, 3 ppm, three, three PPM uh, color 11 was achieved. And at 6 ppm, color 12 was achieved. So this, this very first test uh, did actually get into the objective. Then test B was uh, the use of red milk powder in the bird drinkers at 4.5 ppm. And after 36 days, half of the yolks uh, reached color 12 and the other half reached color 13. That was over the objective. And some notes here, um, there were fast results. Uh, in a couple of days, the, 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 um, the color of the yolks started changing, but the use of the product in the drinking lines ended up decanting and obstructing the nostrils. Finally, uh, test uh, C was divided in two. Uh, the first part was with uh, um, using um, reused oil and at two concentrations. So at 6 ppm after the 36 days uh, period, 20% of the eggs reached color 12 and 80% color 13. And at 8 ppm, 40 of them uh, achieved color 13 and 60 of them color 14, which is the highest um, color achieved yet. And then an extra test was run, uh, but using uh, virgin soybean oil to dilute um, red milk powder and at 8 ppm. So um, there's a, a more detailed timeline here. At day seven, 80% of the eggs are achieved color 13 and 20 color 14. At day 13, 40% achieved color 13 and the rest color 14. And at day 36, 20% was at still at color 13 and then 80 at color 14. These were the best results achieved. And you can see that the um, uh, color 14 was achieved even uh, at the very beginning of the test. Some observations and takeaways. Uh, the best results are obtained with red meal, either powder or oil, pre-mixed with oil, and then that uh, mixed with the dry, dry food. There's um, um, a situation here of, uh, of um, uh, the alternative of using recycled oil, which is uh, more, it's less costly, but the use of virgin oil achieved uh, better results. Then very importantly here, the feed mix that was done with the red meal was kept at, at 18 uh, uh, degrees Celsius in closed containers and under the shade. And this showed no degradation after three weeks. Some pictures uh, to um, have a detail on how the feed was prepared. So red meal, either oil or powder, was premixed with uh, some other oil, uh, either reused or virgin. And then that mixture was added to the dry feed. And this, uh, this is how it looks like when it's, uh, when it's finished. As for the experiment with the drinking lines, uh, red meal was dispersed, dispersed in a small container with water and then add it to the bucket uh, with the drinking water uh, that went to the drinking lights for, for the hands. Some other effects reported, and this is very interesting here. Uh, this was not part of the experiment and all of this came along the better results of pigmentation of the eggs. The productive life of the hands increased from 10 to 20%. All the supplemented hens survived until week 105 without any medication. And please consider that the reference mortality rate is 6.6% at 90 weeks. The laying rate increased up to 2%. And there was a reported improved general health, including better resistance to the thermal stress. In the pictures here, you can see a sick hen with an abscess that was uh, expected to die. 
but just recover uh, without any treatment, only with the supplementation of fasosant. So how is it that uh, red meal can make your business more profitable? Better health, more profit. Uh, when you enhance health and color, you can obtain an increased quality and production. You'll get more eggs and better eggs. You ha will have a higher survival, survival rate, improve growth and body weight, and enhance the immune system, which means a disease and stress resistance. Overall, healthier animals and red meal can be considered as a multifunctional product that can replace other ingredients or supplements. On top of that, um, there are plenty of opportunities for further differentiation. You can um, aim for a superior market value, addressing the public concern about synthetic and GMO products, having no doubts about product safety for animals and consumers, and getting into a premium status, uh, better pigmentation, improved, fle uh, improved flesh and skin quality. This is a sustainable and a natural ingredient that can claim product traceability as well. At Atacama Bio, we establish partnerships for mutual cooperation and help our clients develop the solutions they need. So what do we offer? We offer a science-driven, long-term supported collaboration. We are certified, we uh, have a sustainable process, closer to nature, and we are able to supply all the, all, uh, meet your, your supply needs in a dependable way. We will have competitive prices now and in the long run. Thank you everyone for your attention and please contact us for more information using our virtual booth at Viconnect. Have an excellent day and goodbye.